This required all traders from neutral nations to go through British authority at first. The British were also removing seamen from US ships, many of them British born, and forcing them to join their already overstretched navy. To counter the trade issues, the US Congress passed a bill in 1810, promising that if either nation, Britain or France, dropped the trade restrictions with them, the US would cut off trade to the take them up on this offer. And oh my gosh, I totally didn't even know. I thought that was like trade with Britain. No, meanwhile, the Americans are just paying Yeah, yeah I was not. I was, I was not even. <laughs> to expand into the disputed territories in between. However, in the Northwest Territory, like the British were supporting the native resistance against American expansion. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> God, this class is so boring. <sighs> I get out in 20 minutes. That's 10 minutes two times. That's 5 minutes. I just need to get through 5 minutes four times. What the fuck? How has it only been 5 minutes? was able to counter and defeat the British Navy in the Great Lakes at the Battle of Lake Erie in 1813. This allowed the Americans to retake Detroit. They then defeated the Indian Confederation at the Battle of the Thames and were able to kill the Tecumseh in the fighting. Meanwhile, the British were blockading the United States. During this blockade, they managed to block slave ships from entering the US and freed thousands of any slaves who crossed into British territory, many of which would join in the war against America. <laughs> Beating the US, British troops landed in Chesapeake Bay, took Washington. Fuck! I'm saying no. Oh, <laughs> oh.